Hi guys, and welcome to a quick look at a new game I picked up the other day. It's called Awesome Notes, and it is absolutely amazing. Why is it absolutely amazing? Because it is a MOBA game with <laughs> so much attitude, it's amazing. It's just ridiculous. Everything in this game is really over the top and awesome. It's a cartoony MOBA, very laid back. You can like drop in and drop out games all you want. <coughs> no real um, side effects for doing it. it. Nobody really cares. Usually, if you win or lose, you can still get a few people who, when you go in, they're like, "Oh my God, why did you do that?" Um, there are also some really good players that will just kick your ass a lot, but it, it's so much fun I don't really care. And today we're going to be taking a look at it. Uh, first things first, let's look at the options, because why not? Uh, completely rebindable key is always nice, because this is a port from the Xbox and PS3, and they do not always do that, and it's rather annoying when they don't. But for me, the defaults are absolutely fine. Not, uh, it's, you really don't need that many buttons, so all I ever use is, like, Shift, W, A, S, D, and your mouse, that's all you really need. Perfectly fine, I can use that. You can also use F for the shift because it's to be out, basically. And, uh, actually, uh, one thing that I've got as a bit of a complaint about it is you can actually change the graphical options in game. Not the biggest problem ever. It's a bit frustrating when I first found out about it because I had to, you know, log out, turn it all off. And it, it really doesn't matter too much. It probably won't matter at all to you guys. Because you've probably run this on a top graphic setting without even trying, though I wanted to change the resolution for the card a bit. Um, it's got prestige, and something that I don't usually, you know, like in games. But, you know, I can see it being fun in this game, because in this game you unlock everything. It's currently £7 on Steam, that's probably about 10 US dollars and 10 euros. It actually is 10 euros, I know that much, because I've got a friend who was thinking about picking it up in um, Europe, so that's cool. Um, you've got your usual practice match, private match. Another thing this thing has which I find really interesting is it's got local uh, play. You can play it on the same computer with a friend, which is quite a bit of fun and it's understandable why you can do that because the game doesn't really require a whole bunch of keys and it I don't know how awkward it is. I've not tried it out yet. I will tell you when I do. I'll make another video probably of me screwing around with a friend maybe, doing the dual thing, or I'll just tell you how it is, but it's good, what I can see, and now we're going to take a quick look at the battle, ready, this is just, it. you're just going to drop into a game now, probably going to be in progress, we're going to be playing Leon, because that's the guy that I'm most used to, you start off with three guys, it's a 3v3 one, uh, instead of being like LOL and on you Dota, you buy a bunch of items. In this one, you set up a loadout beforehand, and you can pick up these items in the shop um, when you come back, and these are the only items you can pick up. You just decide which ones, and as you can see, as you level up, you unlock more things for your loadout. Like, going incredibly tanky if you wanted. Also, since some things cost less, and some things more, that's a bit of a, you know, um, just instant money, it's always nice. Start. Um, Leon, the guy I'm playing, is a very stealthy hero. He hasn't got a whole bunch of health, but he just keeps those amounts of damage. And this is cool here. Uh, so he's called like an idiot, so I'm actually going to hang up and do this. Um, basically, while you're actually dead, or when you're first spawning, instead of having to wait on the timer, you have to go from there. Oh, back in a second. Hi guys, I'm back, and it looks like we're losing. I'm a bit surprised because I've been being an absolute git and not being in the game. First thing I do is I like to pick up all of the abilities. You actually have to buy your abilities to start off with, and let's get our extra money. Because why not? I almost forgot about that. Um, let's grab the basic damage on our attack. So this is our basic attack. This is our stealth ability. Basically, it also leaves behind a little version of us, and this is our tongue. Each of them have different ways. So let's do this. See? Uh, oh, God. That guy does so much damage. Same as in the basic game. You can just go back here and heal. Simple and easy. 
interesting thing about it is you don't actually like slash where you're looking to slash where your cursor is, so you can go back and forth and I'm pretty sure we've lost this again, I played myself. Just keep my fault, but still. Let's go ahead and take this guy out before he destroys his turret. And as you can see, there actually are several different maps. I'll try and bring you some footage of all of them. Um, let's get this CS farm in here. We have two lanes here. One of which has been absolutely annihilated. And that guy's just... That's the interesting thing about this game. It's very easy to escape. You've got to throw out a lot of damage. And this is always fun. It's a... Eat everything. It's enjoyable. Let's go ahead and stealth. Nice little invisibility. Always oh, fun. A CP. No, he's not going to dare to go down. Damn it. Oh, he thought that was actually me. Ah, I was going to go down then. Let's eat that. Oh. Just in case. Yeah. Oh, God. Got a friend. Oh, don't eat my own player. That would be bad. Come on, walk a bit closer. Back. Fuck, he might have actually gone on me. Yeah, he knows. Yeah. Nah. It's always fun doing that. It's an easy kill for anybody who walks onto it. While I don't actually get any gold for it, it's still rather enjoyable. But it's not gold, and this game is actually called Solar. That would be the Union's currency. This is the jungle. Um, you come in here basically to get more health. Um, you don't really have mana. At least none of the characters have played so far, so you have no mana in this game. Oh, you've got his cooldowns. And you know, he's dead. <laughs> and that's what I love about this character. While he has no health, you have killed his health ability is awesome. That was a bit of a chaos. For that, well, I like kills. Yeah, we are so losing this game. Oh, that's his bull, that's one of his special abilities, and he just got easy. I am myself. Uh, that guy's clearly not going to anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one way to completely screw up yourself, he's just standing in front of a guy. Oh god, and I've got no health, why did I do that? Ah. See ya. Yeah, these guys are responding. Let's get some health back. I might actually be best to turn to base for quite a bit of money. Let's see if I can't upgrade the damage and attack speed. I generally upgrade my basic attack first, then I do my top, then I do my decoy. Because all I really care about my decoy is like stealth and it. I care about anything else. These are just your basic upgrades. Which gives you your health and my extra money, which is Nice. We can still get our gas as well. We're now slightly less squishy and do slightly more damage. It's not always enjoyable. Let's go ahead and stealth. We are now incredibly sneaky. You do have levels in this game. I'm not sure exactly how much they matter. So far, isn't it? And I would sneak up on these guys, but that guy has a lot of health and I do not trust myself to live through it. There's also a good chance to know the way that I'm here because I was taking up solo. That's another way to completely screw up your stuff. Oh come on, I saw eat that guy! That just sucks. And we just lost a turret, bollocks. I wasn't paying any attention whatsoever. He's probably the other about to stealth and we'll take out this. All I'm gonna do is say stealth, hopefully the guy just close to me to kill him. Nope, I'm just gonna have to protect the turret like a little bit. Here we go. As you can tell, I'm not exactly an expert. I've only played like four games this before. Why have I got an extra TM on them? Oh well. Let's go back to the base and I can buy nothing because I have no money. I'm very excited about the beach. That, that's very nice. An enemy has been I am also chaosing the power. I didn't catch him both. An ally has been killed. Actually. Killing him would be an interesting Your turn is under Oh fuck. Oh fuck. 
There they are, help. Thanks. Those are always nice. Uh, whatever colour the barrier is, that's the only colour that can actually yes. These guys actually do a lot of damage, to be honest with you. But because you can regain health so easily, it doesn't really matter to me. I love just standing here and eating these guys. He now knows that. Yeah, of course, but that Exactly the same level, but then we can go my ass. Oh god, what the hell was that? Ow! You have killed. Something blinded me and then I was just screwed. That is a pretty nice little ability, I don't know. Who's got it? Okay, let's go ahead and blast now. Collect a few bits and pieces. Like I said, this is neat. It means that you're not just stuck waiting to come back. You actually get to do something. Which is always nice, not having just standing like a dead lemon. Which is pretty much what you are. Let's see what we can pick up. Let's grab some more attack speed. I think I've fully done up my damage. No, I've just not got quite enough money. Yeah, yeah I want attack speed anyway. If you notice the life's still at the top, I was going to pick that up. Like, but then I realized it's only on the tongue. Which does a lot of damage to be honest with you. I thought it was more of just a whole Oh god, he's murdered. Oh, I'm out of it. Oh fuck. Yeah, that was a bad move. I'm a invisible. I'm a invisible. Nobody knows I'm here. Your turret is under attack. Which turret? Well, that's not good. Let's go in. See what's happening. Eh, no. Just a few thoughts. No, CS yes, for me. Tactic just for a bunch of that I own. Yeah, CS doesn't really matter too much in this game, but each one does give you five points. So Jungling doesn't give you too much, it's mostly for the health, although it does give you something. The good thing about being invisible while you cross there is there's no chance that a guy invisible is going to try and say, ah, oh, unless you're just really that unlucky. Cross him. Your turn is under attack. Oh god. Ow. I hate that ability quite a lot. Damn my time for not being back yet. Ow. God, that's just me. Yeah, we're not doing too good. They have host advantage. I'm calling it right now. That's the only reason I'm going to Essentially trying to cross. And now I have been killed. Down. Here we go. Killing and then enemies on the kill. Right. Stealth. Um, we should be able to get some more Yeah, we can grab some more health. Yeah. Uh, that was nice to have. And I just go stealth myself like an idiot. And they're coming in. Oh god. That's what I 